We've certainly run well over 3 million samples now. We've got major, major gold producers like Barrick are starting to use this as a production technology. I'm just seeing that this is such a big game changer to how we do things. Photon assay, you crush the material, goes into your jar, you run it through your machine, you get your result right away. I think our tagline there is, is faster, safer, more accurate gold analysis. The mining industry as a whole has been a slow adapter of new technology, but uh, here at Newfound Gold as an exploration company, we're always looking to utilize up and coming technology that we see can benefit us in advancing the project, either through cost savings, time savings, or through more efficient and environmentally sensitive processes. I think our leadership team has been very receptive uh, and brave in taking a step forward by testing out technology but we also do so very carefully with a lot of due diligence before we start employing a new technology in our workflow. We're aware of, of the Chrysos Photon, which has been operating in Australia under, under various laboratories for, for several years now. Newfound Gold, amongst others, has been experiencing exceptionally long turnaround times through the traditional fire assay process. It's an incredibly slow process to do all that pulverizing, to do all that screening, to do all those assays. It's really time consuming and therefore it's expensive and it does slow down the rate at which Newfound Gold can release their results. We recognize that it was the commercial labs in Canada uh, were going to have a difficult time uh, ramping up to meet the current demand in the industry. It's uh, during busy season when everybody is submitting samples, everybody's asking for a fire assay. And the fire assay process is just taking so much longer. Naturally speaking, the turnaround time for a fire assay will be slower than a photon assay. It's just, that's just the nature of it. Fire assay gives you excellent results, but the question is, is there a way you can still get such good representative gold information, maybe a little faster and maybe a little bit less money? And that's photon assay. When we heard that MSA was bringing Photon technology to Canada, we were really the first to get on board with this. So Photon assay is a novel technique that uses high energy X-rays to measure samples. So we take a 500 gram uh, jar of material, hit it with these high power X-rays, they activate any gold that might be present in the sample. The gold gives off a very characteristic signal, something called a gamma ray that we detect, measure, and then that tells us the amount of gold present inside the sample. So you know the weight of the sample, you know how many gold atoms are in it, and you do a calculation to determine the concentration of gold. The technology for photon assay came out of an organization called CSIRO, which is the Australian kind of national government applied research agency. So we had identified this as a, as a sort of an important industry need. And then we put our sort of physics brains to work on this to try and come up with a, a better way of writing a good gold analysis service. I started work on the technology, invented the technology, developed it up to the point where we could look at commercializing it. About five or six years ago, we figured we'd got to that commercialization point. We set up a startup company called Chrysos. I moved across into Chrysos and you know, I've been part of the team building and rolling out the technology ever since. It's environmentally much friendlier than the uh, traditional fire assay methods. So fire assays, you have to use a lot of lead oxide, you'd have a lot of waste, you have acids, nitric acid, hydrochloric acids, your furnace temperatures are over a thousand degrees Celsius. So you can just imagine how much is wasted to get the result that you can now get using hydropower. The carbon footprint that you are creating with using this approach is very minimal. With the photon assays, you don't need to do any chemistries with the samples. You only need to crush the samples and send them on a conveyor belt and away you go. And you get your material back, whereas traditional methods you can't and it, it's gone. And now with your material back, you can do other assays on it. Uh, you can look at it under a microscope. There's so many possibilities after. Both methods, the fire assay and the photon assay, are doing great jobs at consistently reporting results within a, a, a narrow band, but like within the range we want. What's important is if you usually do a 50 gram fire assay, 50 grams is approximately what you could hold in your, the palm of your hand. 
This is now almost 10 times more. And so instead of doing one 50 gram fire assay and it costing you a certain amount, you can do one shot of these jars and get the equivalent of 10 times the number of assays. Turnaround time at laboratories is, is critical for uh, both mining and exploration companies because it allows us to be more nimble and flexible in, in our approach to um, exploration. We're able to get results faster, we're able to uh, come to conclusions faster, and we're able to further advance our plans and uh, ultimately be more cost effective with our exploration expenditures. It's been put in place at Barracks Bullion Hulu Mine in Tanzania and also Fosterville in Australia. It is being very well accepted by corporations and therefore investors also. We've definitely gone from, you know, the very early days when you're prototyping and validating a technology. Now I think it's becoming a widely accepted part of the industry and just something that people see as the best practice way of measuring gold.